oftentimes philanthropy and other organizations develop strategy and make decisions on behalf of other people without including their voices in decision making. We still need help thinking about how to navigate relationships with people and getting advice from folks about areas where we're being thoughtful, where we're maybe need more work. We thought it would be important to develop a community advisory group by centering the communities that we serve throughout New England um, in our work. The advisors are people who really live in the communities, communities that are largely uh, made up of people of color. Those communities where the most support is needed. They bring a reality check and just a real worldness to, look, this is how these things work in in real time. And also to provide very honest, very blunt uh, feedback in the work that they're doing around racial equity. Resources are being leveraged and action plans are being constructed. What we're doing is not the status quo. It's not normal. This is not what you see businesses doing, foundations doing. It's just given me a really important space to grow and to learn as someone who not only is invested in community and youth organizing, but who really cares about the way that resources flow from people who have it. My experience here as part of the advisory group is impacting my practice in the classroom in ways that I didn't realize was going to be an outcome. Forthright, thoughtful, experienced people who are committed to helping us exercise our strengths and our privilege in different ways but also who are glad to have the opportunity to influence in that way. People are afraid to talk about race. People are afraid to talk about inequality. So the fact that we're talking about that every time we meet, and not just bringing it up, but talking about how we can change those systems in a way where everybody is included, everybody is getting that same education. To realize that the very challenges that we seek to um, help resolve are things that we have also helped to reinforce. Change is messy, change is hard. We've been able to come together and think about what that change is gonna look like in a very critical way. The mission is huge and the work is going to be hard. And so my hope for the foundation would be to be able to stay firm in the integrity of this work. We've had to sit in the real and honest feedback that they have given us. As we progress, to just listen to the community, listen to the students, listen to the parents and the teachers of color that are going through what we're trying to help and, and change. They really set the precedent uh, for other foundations to do this work. We have a long way to go to get it right. I don't know that we'll ever get it perfect, but I think we're all in this together now. I think what Nellie May has figured out through this advisory board um, work is that you have to be able to do it with the people on the ground who are affected by racism. Um, and you have to know what will get people of color and people affected by racism to the table in a genuine and authentic way.